Hello everyone, Dark Planet 9 is back with Let's Play Pokemon Ruby. Last episode we hit up Fall Arbor Town and kinda went right through it. Now it's time to talk to this fisherman. I like to fish, but I also like to battle. If anyone challenges me, I'm there, even if I'm fishing. Okay. So, we got Mr. Nolan, and he's got one Pokemon, a Barboach. Interesting. Alrighty, that wasn't too bad. Okay. And now, I like to battle, but that doesn't mean I'm good at it. A Barboach is a pretty decent Pokemon, I like it. Anyway. Alright. Okay, so let's cross the bridge and- Oh, another fisherman. That spot over there, by the way, that tree, that tree's the only thing on that little island there, and that is my favorite secret base spot. So as soon as we get to surf, I'm gonna hit that place up. <laughs> if we were fishing, you wouldn't stand a chance against me. So bring your Pokemon. Alrighty. See you. And your name is... Claude. Fisherman Claude has a Goldeen. And another Goldeen. A Barboach. And a fourth Goldeen. Thanks for playing. Bye-bye. Yeah, two bulk ups makes Rupture a freaking sweeper. <laughs> I love bulk up. And the same holds true for Angel with Calm Mind. Because I've experimented with that move too. I'll try my look at handling the big one at Meteor Falls. There has to be something there. I just know it. Alrighty. Hello, one more. I need to exercise after a meal. Let's have a match. Okie dokie, we got a picnicker. Yes, it's a picnicker. Named Nancy. Meryl. And Lombre. Oh yeah, we won. <laughs> Sorry, that just took a little delayed on me. Alright, yes, I get tired too when I have a tasty meal. Alright. Okay, a revive. Awesome. Even more awesome because it's an item that will not take up more inventory space because we already have like three of those. Alright. Anything, 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 anything. I know there's gotta be something here. By the way, I'm very jealous of Pokemon Sapphire and Pokemon Emerald, even though I didn't play them anyway, like, because Ruby's my favorite game, I cannot deny that, it was my first and favorite, but even so, I'm jealous of Ruby and Emerald because in this area, you can find a little Pokemon called Savipa. And so Viper is one of my favorite poison types. Definitely one of my favorite Pokemon in this game. And it's just such an awesome Pokemon. I actually had a copy of Pokemon Ruby and I hacked it to have a Viper um, outside of Rust Turf Tunnel on the, on the Rustboro side. So yeah. Now, now we know her name. It's Lynette. Okay. And so we gotta keep her little mess a secret in exchange for a sea dot doll. Yay, I'll probably never do anything with it. Okay, and that's about all she gives us. What's this? Alrighty. Okay. No. I forget if she's related to Bill or not. I don't know if she's related to him or was colleagues with him or something. Speak of the devil! <laughs> oh, yay. Wow. <laughs> okay, yeah, they're colleagues in mine. <laughs> well, I love how the game just, you know, feeds me the answer. Alright. I'm gathering berries. I'll share one. We got a whip hair berry. Alright. Okie dokie. Alright. Oh. Oh, I missed some of those berries over there. Let's go get them. Alrighty. Sorry about the silence there, but whatever, um, let's just eat these. Très délicieux. Alright, anyway. So let's go, um... Oh, twins! Uh, let's see, who's at the... T okay. Whoa, oh, we're finally catching up to Solera! <laughs> Alright, well sure, I'm in the mood for it, I'll teach you a little about Pokémon. Okie dokie, it seems we got two schoolgirls, I imagine? Senior and junior, gotcha. Rosea and Grabla. Oh, hey! Rupture just tr is trying to learn Endure. Um, I'm not gonna go with it though. I wanna make Rupture more of an offensive type. Yeah, I'm saying that's the thing that has Yawn and Slack off. But, um, Endure, it basically, if you use it, it ensures that you'll survive with at least one hit from their next attack. It's good tactically, but I don't think I'll need it. Alrighty, and those two were pretty easy. That battle was kinda one sided, I'm not gonna lie. Hello, boy. Camp is fun. You can fish, roast marshmallows, and tell spooky stories. But best of all, are Pokemon battles. 
Alrighty then. So we have Camper Shane Dawson. It's Andrew. And uh, Nuzzly! Nuzzly go dead, and that means we won the battle. So, way too strong! Yeah, that's right, boy. I think it's great that I can go camping with my Pokémon. Yeah! Alright, let's go down here. We found a Carbos, but we can't use it. In fact, I know exactly what we're gonna do. Hey. <laughs> what the heck? What kind of laughter is that? Or are you cursing at me? F you, F you. <laughs> Alrighty. What the f So that's Pokemaniac Steel. Anyway, so we got Aron. And I'm gonna use an X attack. So there we go, that'll free us space for that Carbos in a minute. Let's see how much a not very effective move does with an X attack. Wow. Okay, well that was a waste of a perfectly good, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the uh, X attack. I could have I sold that for a better purpose. Anyway, a big body that's all lumpy and hard, enormous horns and vicious fangs. I wish I had a Pokemon like that. Hmm. Lumpy and hard, enormous. I think of Solomon's, but there's probably something, uh, that he's thinking of that I probably can't think of right now. Anyway, we got a Carbos. Let's use it quickly on... Uh, who could use speed? Actually, I know who we're gonna use it on. I'm not gonna use it right now. Um... Okay. Oh! Okay, that was just a battle with another thing. However... Okay, annoyances aside, we are actually looking for something. That's not a C dot for one. <laughs> Alright. Oh, hello! Well, um, you're not it. So, guys, sorry, don't get your hopes up. I know Zangoose has a huge fan following. I'm gonna kill this thing just because it's cool. Um, I know Zangoose has a huge following, but he's the arch nemesis of my f one of my favorite Pokemon, Survivor. Yeah, he's the Ruby exclusive, the Viper's the Sapphire exclusive. For some odd reason, they wanted to leave uh, uh, both of them in. Uh, I mean, they wanted to put Viper in Emerald because he's better. <laughs> anyway, let's just keep going here. But yeah, Zangus is all right. He's a decent Pokemon. Hello, Swablu. How are you doing this fine morning? Well, it's 12:52 right now, but I digress. Let's have some fun. Oh, I'm sorry, did I hurt you? I wasn't trying to do that. No, not at all. At least not too much. Because I have very special plans for you, Swablu. Alright. Oh, darn it, you're not... Uh. Okay, uh... Fine, just... Hulk up! <laughs> All right, let's just wait out that turn. Astonish, eh? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's such a cool thing. Dark type moves don't affect um, where's that ghost? Yeah, ghost type moves don't affect uh, uh, normal types, which I think is funny and awesome. It's always nice to have a Pokemon that's immune to something. Now, let's see. Let's throw a repeat ball, even though we've never caught one of these before, just because I want to be different. All righty. Excellent! Well now, say hello to our new team member, guys! Swablu has light and fluffy wings that are like cottony clouds. This Pokémon is not frightened of people. It lands on the heads of people and sits there like a cotton fluff hat. Alrighty! So we've got our third, fourth team member! Uh, Swablu. I'm going to nickname her... There's a lot of girls in this team. <laughs> Alright, um, let's see, let's name her Majesty. Alrighty. Well now, let's take a look at Majesty, our new- Oh god, Majesty, you're hurting. Summary, heals upon switching out. Ooh, that's nice. Although I have a feeling you have a better name, better ability, but whatever, you're my slob blue and I love you. Alright, Peck, Growl, Sing, Astonish. Um, hmm. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now then. Let's go! Angel, teleport us out of here! 
Because we got uh, one heal up uh, and two. I'll meet you at the mart for that. Okay, so here we are at the mart. Now it's time to do some selling. Because we have a lot of things that I want to sell. For example, these X items, I have no use for them at all. <laughs> I, like, I know some people find them useful. I don't, I'm not one of those people. I don't feel the need for them. Dire Hit's pretty cool. It increases critical hit ratio, but I will be willing to forego it. X Speed, I will keep X Speed. That might be useful. Um, what else do we got? Hello. Okay, interesting. Now, I'm gonna meet you guys back at the patch of grass we were on. I think this was the patch of grass. If not, this was the patch of grass. So, let's go! <laughs> Alright, that might have looked silly if I didn't need to do anything. So, let's just use Rock Smash. Oh, we got an encounter! That's a Jared out. Okay, that's not a problem at all. Let's just get out of here. I should actually cut this recording because we're at 17 minutes. Okie dokie, so let's continue. Uh, we got... Ah, uh, can I pick it up? A protein! Alright, that reminds me. That totally reminds me of what we were supposed to do. Uh, well, first let's use the protein. Uh, that I definitely want to use on... Uh, I'll use it on s Rupture, actually. Yes, let's use it on Rupture. Anyway, um, and that and that Carbos, we, I, uh, as I was alluding to before, we're going to be using that on Majesty. Alrighty, so... There we go. Hopefully that will make her feel welcome to the team. <clears throat> and I wonder if there's anything I could teach Majesty while I'm here. Let's see. Roar, Bullet Seed, Double Team, Double Team. Uh, Steel Wing! That might be useful! I probably won't keep it forever, but it might help in a little bit in the, in the run. Okay. Now let's delete... We got a pretty good moveset. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's get rid of that Growl. Okay, and we have Steel Wing. Now, I'm a bit afraid to just send her out into the world alone, um, so, uh, there's a secret base hidden behind rocks, I'm not even gonna bother with that. <laughs> okay, if you're lighting a campfire, make sure you have water handy. Alrighty. Yeah, this is our first Kindler, and his name is Bernie. And he's got a Stalagma. Next Pokemon up is Wingull. Okay. And that Wingull is dead. I let Majesty into the battle because I was going to make it her first, but I decided to switch her back out because it was three levels above and I really don't want her to die so quickly. Okay. Don't ever underestimate the power of fire. Fire balls. Hello, Haika. Um, let's put Majesty out in front. Let's just see how she does. It's a little test, if you will. If you're not prepared, you shouldn't be up in the mountains. Ha ha ha. Okay, this guy seems like he should be not easy pickings per se, but okay. Lucas! We got Hiker Lucas. And perfect, it's a Geodude. Wait, that's not perfect, it knows Rock Throw. Holy moly, that was stupid. Well, let's see, how do you do? Steel Wing. Steel Wing is also super effective, so we can e somewhat even the playing field. Then again, you have really high defense, and we do not have really high defense. Okay, I am so sorry, Majesty, but I will not let you die. Don't worry. Next up, we have another Geodude. And a fourth Geodude. Alrighty. Now, we took down the trainer easily, but Majesty did not do so well easily, but... Sh don't worry, she will get there. Um... <gasps> Angel! Wow, Angel, way to steal the spotlight from Majesty, but... Oh my goodness. Psychic! Oh, so delicious. I'm uh, at risk of losing a lot of, missing out on a lot of PP. I'm gonna replace the weaker confusion with the stronger psychic. Oh my god, this is gonna be a very stupid idea, but teleport's a very useful move. What can I say? It's useful because it saves me a lot of cut time. So I'm probably gonna run out of PP with Angel a lot more since I was already running out with just confusion and that had like 20 something PP. The mountains aren't forgiving. But that means Angel will not be fighting as much. And the winter mountains turn deadly with blizzards and avalanches. Okay, I'll be right back. You know what? Why don't we make Majesty's first battle a wild Pokemon battle? Okay, so we'll use Peck. Okay, did a decent amount of damage. Now see if you use Pound. Let's Peck again. Alright, you're doing well, Majesty. And it pounded us again. We're only at less... We 
didn't even lose half our HP yet. And Majesty won her first battle! <sighs> the crowd goes wild. Okay, I really just did that because I wanted Majesty to ha ma ma <laughs> Majesty. Majesty to have her shot. Alright, so let's see this other hiker. Oh, he, he has good vision. Yodelay like, hee -hoo. You're supposed to shout Yodelay like, hee-hoo since it doesn't echo here. Well, how am I supposed to know that? I'm not your hiker, buddy. Alrighty. So, Hiker Lenny here has a Machop. In fact, I wonder how Majesty will do on this, her first trainer battle. Okay. Depends how much the fighting move does against us. Okay. Oh! I, I thought you would... Okay, I, I didn't know it did regular damage, my bad, but... I think you, she might actually win this one. Because <laughs> that didn't do half. Um, where's our super potions? Alrighty. I'm interested to see what kind of course this will take. Karate chop, eh? Alright, well, let's peck you! Peck his eyeballs out! Ooh! Clear! Now it's getting dangerous. Okay, um, run away. And the last Pokemon is another third Machop- uh, pff, another second Machop, by the way. Oh, Majesty. She's getting there slowly, but she will get there. And she'll be able to take those like Rupture is, and that's super effective against him. So that's pretty good. <laughs> but for now, Rupture will gain level 26. And so we defeated Lene. And so he's got another Yodale Hihu in him. When I was a wee tyke, I believe there was someone copying me and shouting back. Okie dokie. Alrighty. Okay, there's a rock. Alright. No items. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go rock smash this, because I believe there's an item in that other rock. Oh, I was wrong. Okay, um... Let's see, Majesty is a little... Well, not low on HP per se, but somewhat there. And since I can afford it, I'll just throw away one of these super potions so far. Alrighty. And let's go. We are in Meteor Falls, the land of golden walls. Okay. And... Well, that was just a soup at. Whatever. <laughs> okay, full heal. But there is a pretty cool Pokemon in here. Is this it? No, that was another Zubat. Okay. Oh no, don't leave, you stupid man. <laughs> Come on, David. Alright. Ooh, we got some magma. Magma, magma happenings. Oh no. Alrighty, um, let's just comb for a little bit of item action. Anything? Oh. <laughs> but this meteorite mount chimney will... Huh? I don't know who you are, but if you get in the way of Team Magma, don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Magma. We, Aqua, won't allow you... <laughs> Wrong voice! We, Team Aqua, won't allow you to get away with your misdeeds! Hey, <laughs> even Team Aqua joins us, but it's too much trouble to deal with you all. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We've got the meteorite, so off to Mount Chimney we go. Haha, <laughs> be seeing you, Team Magma... Team Aqua dingbats. Who might you be? Ah, oh, so you are David. I am Archie as head of Team Aqua. I've just dedicated myself to thwarting the dangerous plans of Team Magma. Why? Because Team Magma is a grave threat to us all. They have committed many destructive acts and have bid to expand the land. We Team Aqua love sea above all. Team Magma is our sworn enemy. Archie, we should get a taste of Team Magma. Yes, we must. We must hurry. There is no telling what Team Magma will do at Mount Chimney. David, you should keep an eye out for Team Magma too. Very well. Okay, so that was interesting. And we got some epic music going on here. Probably will stop as soon as we have our encounter. A Zubat totally broke the epic music. What the heck, man? Anyway, um, so there's no items. I I'm Cosmo. I'm a professor. I usually study meteorites in Fall Arbor Town. Then some people from Magma community. Na -na -na -na. But I, they tricked me. Oh no, the meteorite will never be mine. Oh no, oh no, oh no. You're pro you got problems. Okay. Nothing but bloody Zubats! God! <laughs> anyway, um, so as you can probably imagine, we're supposed to go back now to Mount Chimney. Remember those two uh, magma grunts were blocking the exit? We gotta go there now. Hey, it's our buddy! This is Soul Rock. It's kinda rare. And Sapphire, it's, uh, Lunatone? Or, yeah, something like that. Um, and yeah, but I, I don't know, there's nothing special about it, it's a psychic or rock type. I just think it's pretty cool, that's that's why I like it. 
Anyways, let's run from it, because that thing could probably kill us. <laughs> and, yeah. Oh no! Wait a minute, I already found the soul rock, so I just, I just showed it off, so now I can use the repel. Wow. Anyway, so we're supposed to go to Mount Chimney now, but let's just do some exploratorium first. Alright, I wanna... What's down there, and what's over here? Was there really any difference of what I could have done there? Oh my goodness, uh, same level Pokemon for the loss. No, I don't want to look at you. Just switch, please. Thank you, Angel. You're, you're, you're a deer. Um, I just want to see what's down Anyway, I don't have time to comb. Let's just, uh... Route 115? Uh, I wonder what's here. Uh, where the heck are we? Um, oh! Are we? No. This is an entirely new place. Okay, well, uh, we'll explore it in the next episode. This is Darkful99 signing out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Bye bye